God's name. God reveals his name to Moses. The divine wrestler doesn't reveal his name to Jacob. But here, God reveals his name to Moses. What does the name signify? Name stands for identity. Here God reveals to Moses who he is. And his name is very short. I am. Just two words, I am. What does it mean? I am means I am the only one who is existing. You may remember the other day I spoke about the absolute and the relative. There's only one abs one who is absolute. Everything else is relative. In that sense, we are all relative. Our existence is relative. What does it signify if I explain more? We depend entirely on God for our existence. So our existence is relative. It depends on God's existence. God is the, in, in philosophy, what's called the, he is the uncaused cause. The unmoved mover. There's nobody above him, nobody below him. He is the only one, the source of everything, the reason for everything, the, the logic of everything. Everything has come from him. So he is the only one, the only one who really exists. Everything else depends on him for their existence. So God is the only absolute truth. So now we come to the gospel. Jesus says, come to me. He doesn't say come to my, come to my teachings, come to learn my, my teaching. No, he doesn't say that. He says, come to me, the person. You may know seven times in the Gospel of St. John, Jesus says, I am, again, the name of God. I am the light of the world. I am the bread of life. I am the gate. I am the good shepherd. You know, the seven times, he keeps on, I am, I am, I am, means everything has come from me. Your meaning, your logic, your purpose, your joy, your happiness, everything you long for, everything is in me. That's why if you are focusing too much on the teaching of the church or the laws of the church or even the, even the, the, even the I would say, the scripture, and if you miss the Lord himself, then you are not going to find anything at all. In other words, if you're after theology and philosophy and, and the teaching of the church and you are hung upon the, the laws and regulations of the church, you are missing the point. The point is all about the person of Jesus. In other words, put away everything and learn from the person of, he is the law. He is the law. There's nobody beyond him. Look at him and learn from him who is Jesus. So the more you understand Jesus, you see, you don't need to, I would say, you haven't read the Bible, don't worry, don't try, try for that. Don't, don't worry. You see, I'm saying all sorts of things. You don't need to worry about the Bible. Just look at Jesus and learn from him. Everything is in him. The law and his interpretation and all the commentaries, everything is in the person of Jesus. So the more you understand him, the more you know him, the more you love him, you will find you have understood your life and the meaning of your life and your destiny, the purpose. Everything is understood and experienced in the person of Jesus, not, not in the thousands of laws 
and regulations in the canon law.